welcome to my channel Corporate Specialist where you will find videos covering syllabus outcomes of various academic qualifications and professional certifications. Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is very very important. It's, very, it's going to be very interesting and it's going to add a lot of value. This video is meant for people who are already doing their business or if they want to start a business if you are working already in a company or if you are a student for your exams. Guys, uh, you know the country I am uh, residing at the moment in is obviously not my home country. In the last one and a half year, there were 800 new businesses which opened up and unfortunately closed down within one year's time. And 80 to 90 percent of the businesses who closed down had a common reason. Today I'm going to tell you why businesses closed down. One of the major contributing factor, things which they ignore and later on they say oh this is bad luck. No it's not bad luck, it's bad calculation. It's wrong decisions. So today's topic is life cycle costing where I'm going to tell you the biggest mistake which most of the businesses have made and they're still making unless they have uh, some qualified and certified people working with them. So let's start the topic. You see just like human being we have a life cycle. Right from the day we are born even the, those nine months so the first nine months when uh, the baby is about to born, then the finally the baby is born. Okay, the baby grows up. Uh, from children, we grow up as teenagers, then adults. We get old and we die. So that's the entire life cycle actually. We call it the human life cycle. Similarly, we have business life cycle or product life cycle. So let me give you a numerical example of why product life cycle is so very important and how does it relates to the calculations. Guys, if you look at uh, this is the life cycle of a product. The first stage is known as R&D which you call research and development where the company is trying to find out ways and means of what to make, how to make, what would be good for the uh, business, what would come our customers like, so on and so forth. Just like these days, uh, so many pharmaceutical companies are into R&D procedure for the COVID-19 vaccine. So once R&D is complete, research is done, the product is developed, the product is launched into the market, we call it introduction phase. When the product is launched into the market, if the product is successful, it's going, its sales is going to go up, we call it the growth stage. And obviously, when the sales are growing, a time will come where the sales will reach its maximum. We call it maturity stage. For example, you know, we are talking about $10 million every year. So if the sales is stagnant for a couple of years, it is time to understand that you have reached your maturity stage. And if you do nothing, soon competitors will copy your business model. There will be competitors and uh, you will start sliding into the saturation stage. Saturation is when competitors come in, your customers start going to them, your sales start falling, there is more competition and it is tough to survive. Still, if you don't do anything, obviously your product will soon decline. Now, how does it relate to today's topic when we say life cycle costing? Ladies and gentlemen, understand businesses need to have the vision. Businesses need not to be short-sighted. They have to look uh, you know, beyond the walls, out of the box. They have to look at the another 10 years, another 15 years, 20 years, or maybe another 5 years at least. So I'm giving you a numerical example and then I'll tell you what is the mistake which most of the businesses make and which you don't need to repeat. Please understand there is a cost related to each stage. So I'm assuming R&D is uh, let's say 1 million. 
introduction stage company has to spend 1 million growth stage your cost is 1 million maturity 1 million saturation 1 million decline stage also 1 million now you'll be thinking why decline now let me give you an example of a human being right from the stage the person uh, you know is born there are medical expenses hospital bills this and that when the children grow you have to pay for schooling college university get them married or get them have a business let them settle down even when they die there is graveyard expenses you know burial expenses people will come on the 40th day you got to make some food and all that these are all expenses even when a person dies likewise when the product is going out of the market companies have to spend some money you know maybe taking that product out of the market giving huge discount you know you must have seen closing down sales so coming back to this example we are assuming that to each stage of the product life cycle there is a cost involved and i have assumed research and development 1 million introduction stage cost for the company 1 million growth maturity saturation and decline so that makes 1 2 3 4 5 6 million in total life cycle cost so if i put this here 6 million dollar is your total life cycle cost obviously we are a business we are not doing business uh, you know for welfare purposes so if we are able to forecast the total cost during the life cycle of a product obviously we would like to add some profit which i am calling as markup say 20% 20% of this would be 1.2 million so the total amount my total sales should be 7.2 million including profit so my total cost during the entire life cycle of the product is 6 million and i obviously i don't want to sell goods on my cost i want to add some profit so i added 20% markup which is profit in other words so this should be my total sales what if i am planning to sell let's say the life cycle i'm keeping it short for uh, simplicity purpose 5 years i have planned to make this product launch it in the market stay there in the market for 5 years and then eject from the market that's the exit strategy most of the businesses that do this they come in the market with a plan come operate sell make profit when it's the right time leave the market we call it exit strategy most of the i would say the famous products once famous no more in the market now you will be thinking that the company face troubles the answer is no most of them came with a plan in the market that they're going to operate for 5 or 10 years they skim the market and they go away so we are assuming 5 years and we are assuming in this 5 years let's say the company intends to sell 1 million units so this is your total sales 7.2 this is your cost this is your profit this is your total sales when you divide by 1 million unit that means you should be selling one unit for 7.2 dollars this should be your selling price now the biggest question first of all we need to know do we have a robust marketing department who will do an adequate and appropriate research to find out whether customers are willing to pay 7.2 dollars for a product it could be a good or a service if yes will the demand last for 5 years okay let's say the answer is yes customers are willing to pay 7.2 dollars for a product and the demand will exist for another 5 years then do would we be able to sell 1 million units in 5 years only if the answer to all these three questions is yes only then you go on manufacturing this is all pre manufacturing decisions pre startup decisions so you need to know you should be able to forecast the entire life cycle of your product the cost associated with each life cycle stage of life cycle you should be able to quantify it the profit which your shareholders or owners are expecting from this venture i said 20% so when you add to your cost this is your cost this is your profit so this much sales you are expecting 
and you you have uh, you have forecasted that you will be selling 1 million units that means each unit you will be selling for 7.2 will you be able to sell 1 million units at 7.2 over 5 years if the answer is yes then it is all good but you know what most of the companies are short sighted there are more focused on this research and development introduction and growth maybe or maybe by maturity their their focus is still there once we are maturity we have reached the maximum that's it so what happens let's look at it we are assuming a company is short sighted they have only considered research and development cost introduction growth and maturity so they are talking about 4 million as the total life cycle cost if they add 20% profit that would be 800000 so when you add their sales should be 4.8 million and if they have uh, decided say to sell 1 million units so the selling price should be 4.8 and you know what because they were short sighted they said okay they did the research they found out yes they will be able to sell their units at 4.8 they started selling and in a short span of time they were able to sell all their units and the company was in a misconception that they have made a profit of 800000 in reality it's not the case you know why because if you look at the entire life cycle cost your actual cost over the life was 6 million and you were a fool that you took the cost as 4 million so even if you are able to sell all these goods how much you are getting 4.8 million whereas your actual cost is 6 million you are only recovering 4.8 1.2 million is your loss which you are not covering that's the reason ladies and gentlemen when you don't take into account when you don't consider all your cost you are actually misled you are living in a fool's paradise you think you are selling uh, one unit at 4.8 and in this 4.8 includes 0.8 as your profit that is not the case why because your actual cost is 6 million so if if i talk about here in this if i sp uh, split your cost is 6 dollars and your profit is 1.2 dollars so if your cost is 6 dollars how can you sell it for 4.8 you only sell it for 4.8 when you don't know what is your total cost you are short sighted you are only aiming till this part you're not looking at this that's why there are so many businesses and i have i've interviewed because i've been a management consultant you know so sometimes people come to me they say oh actually we started a business it was all going well and suddenly it happened you know uh, maybe it's black magic you know our relatives are not happy it's not black magic it's not bad luck it's poor decision making it's poor forecasting so guys i hope you have understood what is life cycle costing have a bigger horizon look at the bigger canvas you know look beyond number of years look at the whole life cycle incorporate all the cost add your profit see what is your total sales see how many units you will be able to sell and my advice to all the young entrepreneurs please have an exit strategy nothing is forever any business i get into before starting a business i need to decide when i'm going to come out of it 5 years 10 years 20 years depends on what i'm doing that's why many famous businesses are no more now especially the it companies do you still get you know those famous video games i don't want to name the brand it will be like promoting them no nowadays there are some other video games it's not that they could not do well they came in the market they knew the speed technology is changing they knew like you know another 5 years there won't be any competitor after 5 years there will be a competitor or after 5 years we are not in a position or we don't want to invest further into the business so we just take an exit we call it exit strategy so the take home is please 
look at the life cycle costing, there is something known as life cycle costing. You have to take out all the costs into consideration. Only then it's kind of guaranteed success. Please keep this in mind. Whenever you're about to start a business, you're already doing a business, or you're working in a company in a managerial position, please advise your superiors. There is something like this if they don't know about it. So guys, I hope you have understood this topic. It has added some value. If you have liked this video, please share it with your friend and family members so that others can also benefit. Please leave a comment in the comment section so that I know what your priorities are. If you have any queries, please write this in the comment section. I will respond to that. Guys, thank you so very much for your precious time.